I call this horn the father of Copernicus. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It just came back from a spa treatment at Adams. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this custom Adams A8 Double Shepherd's Crook, which is in my collection. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for your great support of the shop. If you have a moment, hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us uh, for all of our cool product announcements, our free mini lesson series. And uh, I've decided because pe so many people have asked um, what is actually in my collection to show you some of the stuff that's in my collection, including this horn. Uh, this horn actually just came back um, maybe Monday from Adams. It's uh, It went in for some much needed TLC. And uh, this horn I always have called the father of Copernicus. And if you look at it, it definitely has the elements of Copernicus. Now, this is this was one of the earlier Adams trumpets they made. Um, and it has all 100% handmade elements to it. In fact, if you look at the curve of the bell, see that curve of the bell. It's very different than what ended up on our Copernicus. Same with the front curve. Um, this has the large bore in the Adams line, the 470 bore, and this also has a couple big differences than Copernicus. Duh. Let's talk about this. This is a sleeved integrated system with a nickel. This is a solid nickel pipe with a lead pipe in the inside as well. And it has a threaded system that you can thread the mouthpiece in and out. These are the, this is the mouthpiece. Let me see if I can get that focused. Ah, there we go. Finally, that's uh, the mouthpiece that it looks like that threads in and zero gaps once we get it in. Um, has those beautiful braces, handmade braces. One of the issues with this horn, I will be um, honest to tell you, is that it's very fragile. So um, we actually sold this to a customer originally years and years ago. I loved it. I didn't want to sell it, but but of course I had to sell it because that's my job. Then a few years, maybe, well actually maybe last year, um, one of our good customers wanted a Copernicus. So he, we traded horns. And so I got this horn back, um, but it had a lot of issues. The tuning slide wasn't moving. The braces here, these braces between the bell and the lead pipe were broken off. I think it just the previous, not him, but the previous owner before him just wasn't that kind to the horn. Like I said, it's quite fragile. So we sent it out to Adams to get relacquered and to get more robust braces put on, but they also fixed this tuning slide. I'll show you another thing that you have to be um, aware about with this horn that we improved on the Copernicus is look at the length of the top tuning slide here. That's it. That's all the play you have in that top tuning slide. Due to this design, that's it. So if you are outside and playing in a cold day, which a lot of us are outside right now because can't really play a lot inside, it would be a bit of an issue. Um, yes, you could temper that with a shallower mouthpiece, but then you lose some of the benefit of the, the instrument. Um, also, before we sent it out to them, it, de it tended to play a little low on the pitch center. Um, so Adams has done so many improvements over, through the years, they decided to put some of their improvements into this horn. The result is an awesome playing trumpet. It's so fun, uh, and it's vastly different than Copernicus. Copernicus is a polybore, but at the end, bore is a 460. But it has a lot of compactness at the beginning of the horn and throughout the first taper. Uh, this horn is much more open. It's got a larger lead pipe. It's got a larger bore, much larger. It has uh, a larger choke in the back here as well. So the result of this horn is a little thicker and richer and also wider. It's, the slots are very wide versus Copernicus slots are quite defined. Um, I just love it because it's literally one of the most beautiful trumpets that you'll see. I mean, isn't it just absolutely gorgeous in here like check out those i'm going to zoom that in hold on i just love everything about this Th these are um 
think they're rosewood, which unfortunately now, due to uh, government changes, you can't get in the United States. But because this horn was made before those regulations started, you can actually get it. Enough talking, let me play. This is a literally a 3C in this mount, this horn, so check out how versatile and how efficient it is. Raw mic, on the camera, no sweetening, no nothing. Probably should have warmed up a little bit before this. Sorry about that. Let me um, play a little Charlie A2 for you. It's very fun and very versatile. What I'm going to do is switch to a deeper mouthpiece so you can hear the sound. Now, this does take some time. Um, so you, you might ask, while I have you, like I said, this takes some time taking this mouthpiece out. Um, this one is still available as a custom order. The crooks would look a little different. They would look more like Copernicus. Um, and if you wanted this horn, I think the price on this is probably now that mouthpiece is out and now i get to put this mouthpiece in which is a 1.25 cs so it's a little bit deeper and a little bit wider than that mouthpiece which is a shallowish 3c um and like i said you probably probably aren't gonna go anywhere because you're screwing this in now quick threads we could do that and certain makers do make quick threads but i feel like with this system it didn't we tried it and it didn't work as well it didn't have the efficiency this trumpet has incredible centering abilities so look at that and now we're gonna get boop, 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 flush with that Because it's so different and unique, I'd have to actually kind of relearn it a little bit, but it is such a fun horn to play. Um, thanks to my friends at Adams for restoring this beautiful horn. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And while you're here, please subscribe wherever it might be to our channel. Uh, more treasures from my collection coming soon. And we have plenty of horns here for sale at the shop. Thanks so much for your great support. Have an awesome day. Cheers. Keep on tooting.